Hello everybody. So in this screencast, we're going to look at how can you create a uh, an emulator. So basically to run your application, we need to ha either run it on an actual Android device or we can run it on the on your computer or on your PC or on your laptop based uh, 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 on an emulator, right? Which is emulates the Android environment. Okay. So to do that, um, what we need to do is we need, if you go at the top here bar, you could see that there is uh, the AVD manager, right? So we need to go to the AVD manager. So one of them is to go here at the top bar or if you go to the tools and uh, There is AVD manager if it's not available You can just go to help and type AVD AVD manager and if you look here, it will show you where the AVD manager is Right, so this is the AVD manager Okay, so in the AVD manager you at the bottom you could say create virtual device I clicked on that now it asks you what kind of device you want to pick you know, the larger the device that you pick, the larger the screen size, the larger the density, the larger the the memory that it uses, then this would require more resources on your machine because this is a virtual machine that is going to run on your uh, computer. So basically, uh, we'd like to find some balance. So usually I pick uh, the Pixel or I sometimes even pick the Nexus 5X, which is our decent sized uh, devices. Also notice that there is a Play Store uh, icon in, in front of some of these uh, emulators. I would recommend, uh, strongly recommend that you install ones that have the Play Store. If you don't uh, install the ones that don't have the Play Store, then you do not have the Play Store on the device and uh, we will need it in the future. Okay, so basically my advice is to pick a device. So basically let's say we pick the Nexus 5 and I click on Next. And basically it asks me which operating system are you going to run it on and uh, pick Q, Pi, Oreo. This is the version of Android that this uh, emulator is going to have. And basically uh, I have downloaded previously Q and Pi. These are version 29 and version 28, API level 28 and 29. Uh, uh, in your case, if you don't have them, you have to download them. So you see here beside them, there is a download button. You click on it and it's going to download. So let's say we make it Q, right? And cl click on next. And then you can update some changes here, but leave it as it is. And I click on finish. Okay. So basically it did create the emulator. So basically I do have a device. If I want to run it, I can just click the play button and it's going to run that device. So I can do that. I'm not going to do it right now. Close this. Now, if I want to, this is the, the first project that we created in the first video. It's just, I didn't do anything yet, but you could see at the top here, you can pick which device you want to run it on. So I have two emulators. So let's say I pick the one we just created and I click the, I, I press the run button, right? And then what is going to happen is that it's a, the emulator is going to show up in a little bit. You'll see now that it, the emulator is going to pop up and you, are, you will be able to see it. You see here, the emulator is showing up and here we go. And the emulator runs. So basically in that emulator allows you to run the application. You can run the application on the emulator. You have to be a little bit patient because it's uh, booting for the first time it's setting up the operating system setting up the ui and so on so now here we go this is the emulator is running and uh you can see that here is my application the application actually ran actually when you when you create a new application it's a packaged app that you it can run right there is nothing in it then but it can run also you could see that in the emulator there are several things that you could do you can raise the volume you can reduce the volume or you can flip the screen like let's see i can flip the screen this way or rotate it back uh, similarly i can and you can do a lot of things also you can click on the screen here this this is the uh the, these are the menu buttons on on android this one will kill the app right this one will show you what previous apps were there and you can turn off the phone also so you can click on the power and uh, probably I have to long press on the power. So anyway, you can also do all these features on, on the phone. You can also take a screenshot of the phone. So here it is, it will take a screenshot. So if we go, um, it, it will store the screenshot on the desktop. Here it is a screenshot, here it is of the phone itself. So basically you could see that this is what the uh, emulator looks like, right? So you have an emulator and you can run the application on that emulator. So that's, uh, we discussed how you can uh, in create an emulator. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.